Hi guys, Stacy Julian here for Close to My Heart. I'm so excited to bring you this fun, short bonus video that has that features one additional idea that I created um, to help me document life during COVID-19. Before I dive into the project, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon. And that means that you won't miss any of the Close to My Heart videos that we're creating for YouTube. You'll be notified every time there's a brand new video. All right, you guys, this has been one heck of a year, yes? So if you haven't yet watched a much longer video class that I created with Close to My Heart, I invite you to do that because in that video, um, I really walk you through some pretty basic and doable ideas for um, documenting all the, the pictures and the thoughts and feelings and memes and newspaper clippings and all of the stuff that you may have created over the last 12 months. Um, and, and that class is really especially great if you've never scrapbooked before and you're like, okay, now's the time. I want to learn how to begin to tell some or all of my COVID story. So for sure, go back and watch that longer video. In today's video, I just want to show you a really fun project. And before I, um, before I show you the project, let me share something with you that I believe. Um, Storytellers and scrapbookers, we often look back and, and document, which is very appropriate and, and super awesome. But as, as you develop your own personal storytelling skills, I want to invite you to look forward. And this idea of living with intention, thinking about what's coming and how you want to live it. What is the story that you want to create so that you can then tell it? That's exactly what I did last summer, the summer of 2020, during this global pandemic. Let me show you. I called the summer of 2020 the summer of color, precisely for the reason that I wanted to make sure that I was having intentional fun with my family. And I love this album that I'm going to show you. It's a six by eight. So it's a little bit smaller than a traditional 12 by 12 album. And you can fill it with memory protectors that are fully six by eight or with protectors that are pocket. So, you, you know, they're designed for three by four cards or four by six cards. And I'll show you that. But what's fun about a mix of page protectors in a small album like this is that it's very easy to envision and then put together a full project. I love to start, um, like most stories do, with an introduction page. And this is my story about this very fun summer. So I just put, look, I'm Stacy. I love God and my family, stories, color, and chocolate. And then I love to include a picture of me. And I know that's not something that we are initially very comfortable with. But the more you practice scrapbooking and telling your story, the more you realize how important it is that you show yourself. Because these stories are your stories. This is your perspective. Because this project, this album is all about a summer of color, I've used, I took the wrappers off color crayons that represent some of my happiest colors. And I wanted to link color to stories. So I put stories are like a big box of new crayons. They are irresistibly inviting, full of potential, and they add color to life. So I've kind of introduced myself a little bit more here. I do want to point out something fun. Um, I have a, a stamp set with Close to My Heart called Stacy's Hand, and I love doing this type of stamping. You almost create your own pattern paper by doing a tone-on-tone -tone, um, generation stamping, which is where you stamp in you know, a full color and then you stamp again. But I love the way that looks as I introduce my story and my happiest colors. So this is how it started, you guys. So I want to tell you how this story began. May 1st, I got a direct message from one of my online friends, Heather. She had sent me a picture of a family in Melbourne, Australia, that had decided to take a series of pictures where they all dressed. 
in the same color. They dressed monochromatically. Okay, well, I love color. As soon as I saw this picture, I'm like, we are doing that. This is going to be the summer of color, and it is going to help my family have fun and distract us from some of the very heavy things that we're processing in the world. So let's take a look at how this story unfolds. You can see there's that stamping again to introduce my happiest color, red. And here's the first picture my family took. I literally said, go to your closets <laughs> and find something that's red or red orange or very close to red. And we dragged a red bench in my kitchen out to the front lawn and took our first monochromatic photo. You guys, this is such a fun thing to do, to intentionally think about the photos that you want to create and have as a part of your stories. Now, on the next page, I really wanted to show the contrast, um, you know, the heaviness of what we were dealing with. No toilet paper, empty shelves, you know, just all this disrupt. And so that's displayed in, you know, in shades of, of gray and black, and it can feel very heavy. And so by the time, you know, the 4th of July rolled around, I wanted to, again, take another monochromatic photo. And this time we used my happiest color of turquoise. And we had family that came to visit. And once I realized how fun it was going to be to create these pictures, I invited my sister-in-law. I said, do you think your family would be willing to help me create a big splash of yellow? And it's kind of funny. We stood on in front of our garage door that's a little bit yellow. And honestly, our driveway is a little bit yellow. So it was the perfect setting. And we just gathered up all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, around my house and everybody's holding something or doing something. I'm sitting on my yellow bicycle and, and again, planning and carrying out these pictures was such a fun distraction in our life. Um, we were able to say goodbye to my son who left on a mission for our church, but right before he left, we created the happiest of monochromatic photos. This is our orange photo. And again, it's just, you know, thinking about these and making a list and walking around your home and saying, oh, we've got to use that lamp. And let's not forget to grab one of our pumpkins and we're going to need a basketball. And let's go buy, you know, let's go buy two liters of orange crushed soda. <laughs> so it just involves everyone as we think about and plan and carry out these fun, colorful photos. The last photo we took was all green and it happened at the very end of summer Everyone that had come home unexpectedly had left again, and it was just my husband and my daughter, Addie, and we still had fun creating that last monochromatic photo. So whatever you do, make sure it makes you happy. I wanted to end with just, you know, the kind of the first picture that we took as a family during the pandemic, and then the first time we were, we were able to return to church. We had started to gather together again of course, with social distancing and of course, wearing masks, but it was kind of the beginning of the end and it felt so good to gather together. I included one of these disposable masks with the reminder that I refuse to let this pandemic mask my blessings. And then I included a great photo that I took early uh, during the shelter in place um, of my van. I was on a road trip to go pick up my son from college and there was a giant rainbow. And this again is what I want you to know. You have to stop the van, you guys. <laughs> Get out of the van and take pictures. You can only tell stories to the extent that you have illustrations from your life. So I want to give you permission in this video to have more fun with your photography and to give yourself permission to ask people to take your picture and to stop just long enough to capture a moment that you want to freeze in time. Yesterday, I was flying here to create this video and I realized I'm sitting on an airplane next to an empty seat. I'm wearing a mask and my napkin reminds me that when I'm done eating my snack, I got to put my mask back on. This is a time in history that hopefully will not repeat itself. <laughs> but as the, as the flight attendant came down the aisle, I just summoned my brave and I handed her my phone and she took a picture of me. These are the images that we are going to, believe it or not, want to look back on. We can be more intentional with our photo taking so that we can tell more vibrant and robust stories. 
The last page in my album is just me sharing some thoughts about this experience, this summer of color. I want to read you just this portion. It says, the thing that makes a story remarkable or a book so that you can't put it down is the upside down part. The part where everything falls apart and the main character has to decide what to do. Well, I decided back in May that I was going to see this whole COVID-19 thing through the lens of my happiest colors. Red would be for love and courage, turquoise for the faith to trust God, yellow for the chance to read, ask questions, and fill my mind with light and imagination. Orange, of course, is for fun because everybody needs recess. And green is for the growth I want to keep and remember when 2020 is a distant memory. The last page is a quote and then a final picture that we took at Thanksgiving dressed in black and white. I hope you've enjoyed a peek at this fun project. I want you to know that you can scrapbook in so many different ways and that your story and your perspective matters so much. You and me and all of us are primary sources for the future when it comes to this pandemic or anything else that we experience. So come back to watch more videos from Close to My Heart so that we can teach you how to tell your story. And thanks for watching.